Hi, it's Jackie Baker, Coldwell Banker Realty. Um, this week's video, I've decided to do a quick imp impromptu video and withhold showing my, um, my normal content that I do every Wednesday. I thought it was important to talk about COVID-19 and the effects on the Bergen County real estate market. Um, first of all, let's break it down um, how the different areas this is affecting. So we're talking about sellers, buyers, and those who are currently in contract and are scheduled to close in the next several weeks. Um, we're going to talk about how COVID-19 is impacting that as well. I actually have clients in each of those scenarios, and uh, it, we've been living hour by hour on um, how to address you know, getting, um, getting through this whole thing. And the information I give you today, it could be, it could be different by this afternoon. It's what, nine o'clock on March 18th. It could be different by three o'clock this afternoon. Like, again, you have to bear with us. Everything changes by the hour. Um, so what I'm sharing with you right now, it's based on what we know at this moment, it could be different later. All right, so let's move on. Let's get into um, how this is impacting people. So let's talk about our sellers. Um, home sellers, if you currently have your home on the market, uh, if you would still like to show your home, you are, as of now, you are still allowed to do that. However, you need to follow the guidelines and I'm sure your agents have already gone through this with you. Um, if you are allowing people in your home, obviously practice social distancing and you can have people use sanitize, hand sanitizer before they enter the home if you have hand sanitizer. Um, you can also request that people do not touch doorknobs or you can actually leave doors open so people don't have to open the door um, to the bedrooms or to the bathrooms and also encourage people not to touch the cabinet handles and things like that in your kitchen or in the bathrooms. Um, again, a practice social distancing and also know you do have the right to ask that person where they're coming from. So you want to make sure they're not coming from a town that has been impacted greatly by COVID-19, that there are a lot of cases there. You do have that right to ask if that buyer is from an area where there are a lot of cases and you have the right to say you're not comfortable with allowing them in your home. That's okay. You have to protect your family. You want to protect yourself. You have every right to do that. Now, if you're contemplating taking your home off the market, you don't think it's a good time to sell, that's okay as well. New Jersey MLS has allowed sellers to temporarily withdraw their listings without it affecting their days on market. So that's, that's really great. So if your house is on the market for say 14 days, you withdrew it today for say the next three weeks, when it goes back on live on MLS, it'll show it at that it was on the market for 14 days. The only issue is it will not be reflected on Zillow and Trulia because those are third party um, services. So it, I don't understand how it works, but it doesn't cor directly correlate to MLS with this new rule that it's um, keeping the days on market the same. Um, so it will be reflected in Zillow and we have no control over Zillow and Trulia. We can only control what's in MLS. So just know that your days on market will not be affected if you temporarily withdrew your listing today. Open houses. Now this has been the big question. As of yesterday, if a seller would like an open house, you can do that. Again, practice the method of social distancing. What does this mean? Allow one person in at a time or one group at a time and provide hand sanitizer and Products. I was at a. I went to an open house last Sunday. Believe it or not, they had hand sanitizer at the door, asking people to wipe their hands before they entered. There were shoe covers available, or you know, you could remove your shoes before you go into the home. Um, you you can take all the necessary precautions to um, allow people in your home to see it. I don't know how much longer that's going to be with allowing open houses. And I, I just looked at the calendar today on MLS. So last Sunday, there were like 432 open houses in Bergen County. This Sunday, there's only 40 scheduled. I think we're gonna see a lot of cancellations on open houses. Um, I don't, we haven't gotten any directive yet from um, MLS or NAR saying that we should be canceling open houses. You can still do it. 
Are you going to get a lot of traffic at this point? I don't know. There are buyers out there. I mean, life is going on. People need to find homes. So you are going to have people that want to come see your home. So if you do decide to have an open house, just please make sure you're taking those measures to protect yourself and, you know, everyone around you. Buyers. That's all I can do right now. This is so frustrating. The inventory has been really super low in Bergen County for, for the spring market. And unfortunately, it is going to remain low. And listen, it's okay. We need to take a step back. I, I know people need to find a home. And if something does come on the market and sellers are allowed to show, definitely you know take advantage of that. You can mm -hmm. and take the necessary precautions. But um, I actually, believe it or not, I, I wrote two offers this week already because I, I have some buyers that need a home now. So it... You know, it, you, it, they're out there, but are we going to see new inventory in the coming weeks? Very, very limited. I don't think we're going to see a lot at all, but just hang tight. Be patient. Your time will come. The house will come available. I know it's so frustrating. I have so many people I'm working with right now that they just want a home and it, the inventory has just been really low. Um, but this too shall pass. Okay, so those who currently have transactions in in process, you're about you know a couple weeks, maybe a week away from closing. This is my scenario right now. I have um, four closings coming up over the next uh, several weeks, and so here's what's happening. Here's what you can expect. There can be delays in your closing. What we're seeing now is with the CO inspections, especially. So if you're coming to the tail end of your transaction and your seller needs to get, the person you're buying the home from needs to get the CO inspection done. Some towns have shut down their services. So we're having an issue with getting CO inspections completed. You might be delayed by several weeks because of those services are um, not available at this time. I do need to, I have to say, I have to give a shout out to Fairlawn. I have a deal that's supposed to close next week in Fairlawn. And we were in panic mode because the sellers needed to get a reinspection done. They had to make uh, make some changes in order to obtain their CO. And lo and behold, the seller was able to email pictures of the corrections that they made um, in their in the home and send the receipts of the work that was done. And Fairlawn issued them the CO, all done online. Hopefully we'll see more of that in other towns because we wanted they uh, they want to keep these transactions going. The government wants to see the housing market continue. They don't want this to be impacted. So I think the, the towns are going to do what they can to keep these transactions moving, keep the market moving. So that was a huge thing yesterday from Fairlawn. So oh my God, thank you, thank you, Town of Fairlawn for doing that. That was amazing. So so my buyer is so relieved he's going to be able to get into his house after uh, next week so it's very exciting but not every town is up to may not be doing that right now so just be prepared you may have some delays um, with that same thing goes with home inspections you may have some home inspectors that are either really super busy right now or are, are just not comfortable going into a home at this point due to the COVID-19 um, just be patient with that and, and I'm assuming attorneys are going to be making um, they're going to be making changes or making recommendations on the contract to allow extra time to have these inspections take place given the situation that's going on right now. So death, I'm just managing your expectations. This is what could possibly happen. Um, can deals fall apart at this time? It's possible. Okay. You may have a buyer who is all set um, to purchase and their financing may fall through. All right. We're seeing people unfortunately losing jobs during this time, that may happen. I pray it doesn't, but just be prepared. Um, these are the scenarios that can that can um, that you may see in these coming weeks as you're getting ready to close on the sale of your house. So that was it. That was the general information I wanted to give about. So that's the information I want to give about what's going on right now. I wish I had a crystal ball to tell you what's going to happen a few months from now. Nobody knows. Nobody knows, and it's it's very frustrating. It's scary. The unknown is always scary to everybody. But listen, we will all get through this. 
I just ask that everybody just do what is recommended. Practice the social distancing, wash your hands, use the hand sanitizer, um, just be safe. Be safe. Um, Bergen County right now is the epicenter of New Jersey as far with the COVID case uh, with COVID. So we are in a um, we're in a tough situation here in Bergen. The more we all contribute, keep you know, stay home, practice all of these things that we're um, practice all the recommended guidelines, we can get through this much quicker and resume normal life much faster and get back to business. And honestly, I think once this passes, we're going to bounce back really strong. And I think the spring market will continue as soon as we are out of this whole, this whole situation. I hope you found value in this today. And I am, uh, I just wish everybody to be well, be safe, um, be healthy. Next week, I'll probably resume back to giving my normal content, just give you guys a little distraction um, something else to watch other than the COVID news. And, uh, that's it. So I will see you next time. Everybody have a great week and be safe.